In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how you can light a room super simple, super fast, using power. And I'm talking about the Godox 8600. That's how I lit this. We needed three images. We did the ambient layer, one big flash pop, angled up. This house was like working for us in this situation. It was there was tons of natural light coming in with a peak ceiling, white ceiling. So it was just like angling the flash up. I'm going to show you when we get into this. Bouncing light everywhere. And then we did a flash pop to light the kitchen as you can see in the image so let me take you into Lightroom right now I'm gonna show you how simple it was to get this image looking amazing alright so here is our ambient layer look at how much natural light we have coming in I mean just the way the Sun was at the time of day was bringing in tons of light but also not blowing out the windows so our ambient layer was almost like a flambient layer which was made this a lot easier so let's move on to my flash shot I dropped that shutter down to 180th as opposed to 115th for our ambient layer and notice that uh, I felt like I should probably light the kitchen because see how it's kind of dark over here I just wanted to have that kitchen be as bright as the rest of the room and I'm not a fan of turning lights on if you know me at all by now I love the natural light no matter what so this is why I ran over to the kitchen and I popped this flash and at first I was like oh, it looks a little messy but again we're gonna just we only need a little bit of this we're gonna I'm gonna show you how just using some of your flash can be another tactic or another tool to use you remember you don't have to use all of it we can blend that back in with the natural light so let's just highlight all these and then we're gonna bring these into Photoshop all right here we are in Photoshop and again we're working with that ambient layer sitting on top but let's blend in our two flash layers first so what we're gonna do let's just toggle off our ambient layer and take our kitchen layer which is at the bottom here we're gonna move that up just underneath the ambient layer and let's turn this to lighten mode look at that that is blending back in that flash shot you know what I actually like the way it is brightening up our window view right here and now what we can do is turn the ambient layer back on and let's take that ambient layer to 50% look at how much how no, it's almost deliverable I would say that this is borderline deliverable right here uh, I would maybe do a layer mask leaving it white and let's make it black we can actually paint back in some of these window this window view going all the way around just to make it pop a little bit more and probably in the kitchen as well I think maybe not not in the kitchen I like the way that looks all right that is it there is really no color correction I need to do or anything because it just natural light was just giving us the correct color auto white balance works super simple in this situation we're gonna command S to bring it back into Lightroom and let's do our final bump maybe bring those uh, that exposure down a little bit let's check our blacks I'm holding option I'm just gonna slide the black slider down just a little bit bang look at that look at how simple that was so remember using natural light to your advantage can help you and it'll enhance your photos as long as the house has a lot of natural light like this house did but again leave me a comment below if you have any questions about any of this stuff make sure to hit that subscribe button I'm releasing tutorials all the time thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video guys bye bye